Hello and welcome back for another Cube Draft. And this is one where we finally open up on some exciting cards. We see some power at the very last. I mean, I think there have been a couple of drafts that we haven't seen any power whatsoever, except from our opponents. There's Time Walk, which I think we will be taking, but there's also Demonic Tutor, Oko. Yeah, I think Demonic Tutor and Oko are the next two cards in the pack, but those are both very, very good. And then there's Fallen Shinobi, which I like, and Force of Negation. I'm taking this time walk and I'll be very happy with it. Now what? Well, there is Omnath, which we, we could try and do. Go into five color Niv and do so with a time walk. It's not bad. I could also try and wield this Omnath. And then if I do want to try and wield the Omnath, I'd probably take Treachery. There's also maybe Wheel of Fortune as, an, as a kind of broken card. Wheel of Fortune makes me want to try Storm perhaps, but time walk is not at its best in Storm. It's good with Thousand Year Storm, but not in regular Storm. Yeah, Treachery is good, but I think I just want to take Omnath here. Oh man, usually this wheels. Let's just take the Treachery. It's a good card. It's a blue card. It goes with uh, our first pick. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, Ren and Six. I like me in Ren and Six. This is a Mind's Desire if I do want to go into Storm. There's Dark Ritual. There's Mana Lake, but kind of wish I'd just taken Omnath and gone down that route, but Omnath likely wills, but Ren and Six is a, is a very nice card. Otherwise I'd take Mana Lake if I just want to draft some good blue cards, but I feel like taking Ren and Six. Now what? Oath of Druid. Well, what else is there? Let's look at serious cards first. There is Impulse, which is a good blue card and it's quite good with uh, Finding Time Walk and just yeah, general good card, Impulse. Assassin's Trophy for 5 color Niv. And ECD is a good card for maybe blue-white control. And then there's Wrath. Maybe I just take the ECD. And then if Impulse, Wrath, or maybe Oath comes back. But I don't want to go in on Oath just yet. Let's take the ECD. Now what? Opposition. Opposition is a cool card. Um, usually goes in a, in a green deck. Green-blue. Is there anything for blue-white? I don't think there is. Sun Titan is kind of whatever. And then for a Niv deck, there's this Razor Verge Thicket or Ractus's Return. I could also take Opposition and kind of hedge here. Maybe move into some sort of Opposition deck. I think I just do take the Opposition and then see what happens. Thousand Year Storm. And there we already have a Time Walk. That is very appealing, but I don't think I should do this. I probably are better off taking the Narset and maybe just being blue-white control. I have been drafted at this time, so could be interesting. Let's take Narset. Now what? There is Sower, which is fine, but I actually quite like Repeal also. Repeal is just a, a card that can be cheap and draws a card and just a nice tempo play. And then what? Baneslayer? Maybe I should just really embrace blue-white control and, and take this Baneslayer. None of these other cards all that appealing. Maybe Shambling Vents for Niv or Kosali, but I think uh, I'm I'm keen to move into uh, to move into blue white. So then now what? I could take face fetters or I can take Godless Shrine. Godless Shrine lets me potentially be Esper, which can be good. Face fetters, it's kind of replaceable. Let's take the Godless Shrine. Ooh, there's Omnath. There's nothing else in this pack that I would want. So I think I just take the Omnath and then I'm a little bit open to being that. Doesn't look like blue white is particularly flowing. I'll take a pernicious deed. Well, there's a raft, so I, I will take that. I mean, I have some multicolor cards, but I don't need to play those. And I didn't really pick them up over anything else. Maybe the Ren, but that was our second pick, I think, or our third. So yeah, nothing really lost. I think I take Expansion Explosion. Sun Titan is enough medium that this together with Time Walk could be sweet. Disenchant's fine. And then Goblin Electromancer. Probably not playing that, but who knows. Now what? I think there's Scalding Tarn that I want. Having fetches is good for, for potentially picking up duels and making our mana all that much better. And there's nothing I'm really passing on. Maybe we could have been Storm with Lion's Eye Diamond and Frantic Surge, but let's take this Scalding Tarn. Wouldn't mind seeing Stoneforge Wheel, maybe. Flooded Strand or a Signet, but I think I'm taking the Flooded Strand here. And I'm, I'm leaning more and more to blue-white, I guess. Although f fetches are also great in Niv. Is it Signet, Snapcaster Mage, Mihiri, Felidar Treat, Skullclamp? I think I take the Snap. Snap Time Walk is a combination. And it's a good card in blue-white and it's even fine in Niv. Although Niv is starting to become less and less likely. 
We'll take a snap though. And we're not seeing particularly great white cards. I mean, Easily is good. Bane Slayer is fine, but not super exciting. Now what? Miscalculation or Remand? I like both of these cards. They're both fine. I think I'll take the Remand. Yeah. Now what? Ponder, Misty, Frost Titan, Brazen Borrower, Day of Judgment. I'm very tempted to just take the Misty. Although Ponder is also really good. It's between those two, that's for sure. Maybe taking the Ponder is better. Misty leaves us open to being more colors, but I don't think it's all that likely that I'm going to end up Niv, so I'll take Ponder. It makes our snap a little better. Ooh, Bribery? I hate Bribery. I hate playing against it. And I think it shouldn't be in the cube, but it's there for us now, so I will take it. Otherwise, Fire Ice is a card I've, I'm always happy to play. Yeah, I think Omnath, Pernicious Deed, and all of this multicolor nonsense can go. And I just want to be blue-white. Or I guess at least blue. Ooh, sorts the plowshares. I was just thinking, if I want to be blue-white, I want to have the good white removal spells, and swords definitely counts. Otherwise, there's also Batter Skull. Maybe Stoneforge comes back, and then I would love to have a Batter Skull, but I'll take swords. One of the things that I've learned when playing Niv is that having just good interactive cards is often, often just very important. You don't just lose to whatever your opponent is doing, and then you you can find a way to win after that. Like Niv pairs most interaction with a bomb attached, and that's why it's so powerful, but Blue White can get there. Factor Fiction is a great pickup. I do want some more counter spells, otherwise we have to be some sort of tap out blue white control, which is also not bad. I mean Niv is mostly tap out also. Opposition is not super likely to make it at this point, but maybe. Recurring Nightmare is a sweet one, but I don't think we'll have that many creatures. Probably Yorion over Pestermite. Maybe if we're twin, but I don't think we're likely to be twin. Yorion is another 5 drop, which is not that great. Skyclay Evaporation is fine removal. And then Blade Splicer. We have quite some fat at the 5 drop slot. Condemn. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a Condemn. That's fine. It's not a great removal just because it can only deal with attacking creatures. Ooh, Brazen Borrower or Day of Judgment. I like Brazen Borrower. I think I take it. I already have a Wrath and then this is quite flexible. Ramaz for the sideboard. I don't need too many Wraths, I don't think. Snapcaster can also be a Wrath, and this can bounce something, it can pressure Planeswalkers, so I like Brazen Borrower. Now what? Ooh, a Library of Alexandria, two fetches, Urza, but I don't think we're an Urza deck, Ancestral Vision, Wall of Omens, I take a Library here. Library in a controlling deck is kind of gas. Now what? Dak Faden, which if we had Volcanic Island, I'd be willing to splash. Dak Faden Narset is also sort of funny. I think I take Azorius Signet. We can use a little bit of ramp. Torrential Gearhulk, also not bad, but Signet it is. I really hope to pick up a, a blue-white duel. That would be pretty good. Make our fetches a little better. Ooh, Jace? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, Jace is great here. This opposition is probably not making it in, nor is his Yorion, but I love me a Jace. So I'm looking for counter spells, but I'll settle for Teferi. If I get back this Plateau, that would also be great, because then Scalding Tarn can fetch both blue and white, but I'm not passing on Teferi. Yeah, with Narset, Teferi, and Skyclay Evaporation, maybe Sun Titan could have actually been good. I think I probably would have played it. Riftwing is a fine card. Well, there's Niv, but there's also Hallowed Fountain. I don't need Niv anymore anyways. Armageddon, it's okay. You can play a Planeswalker and then an Armageddon, but Hallowed Fountain is great. Godless Shrine, we don't really need. I'm thinking if I want to play this, we can play it for blue just to copy spells. We do have some, some decent spells to potentially copy. Time Walk, mostly. So maybe... Vanishing Lights, Seachrome Coast Days. I think it's not Seachrome Coast. I think our mana is pretty fine. I like having a card like Days in my deck. Just a little bit more interaction. It's free even though at some point Days does become dead. But Vanishing Light, I don't think I need. Ooh, Geist. Geist is a good one. I'm not sure if I'll start it, but it's a card that just beats decks like Storm or other control decks. So it is a good pickup here, even if maybe just for the sideboard. Now what? There's Arid Mesa to make our mana better. Land Tax is an interesting one. Or Ancestral Vision. Do I really need more cards? Or do I want better mana? Eh, let's take the Vision. I don't think our mana is all that bad. 
and ancestral vision is good if you can suspend it early and we do plan on playing the late game so maybe even if we are able to suspend it mid game it's not that bad i just think our mana is fine as it is brainstorm well brainstorm makes me want to have taken the fetch i could just play brainstorm otherwise i can play torrential gear hulk and factor fiction to get with it and what else reman disenchant swords i think that's better than brainstorm or do i just need the cheaper card no i'll take the gear hulk ajani no not playing that well maybe he picked up the plateau it works with scalding tarn so now our mana is even even better and potentially we could splash ajani but i doubt it yeah take this awake ha niv no one respects niv and vindicate i'm not unhappy with our deck i think i would have liked maybe path would have been great and some actual counter magic so it looks like we are more of a tap out deck then let's see add some lands yeah so we've added some islands and planes and we're at 17 so now we need to cut three cards i think disenchant is a cut blade splicer is a cut and what else i think riftwing is fine I could see cutting geist or maybe bane slayer Mm, I do like having some bombs in my deck. Gear Hulk. Maybe it is just Gear Hulk, just because we don't have that many high impact instants. Yeah, let's cut the Gear Hulk and run it like this. I'm curious. I mean, I've definitely had better blue white decks than this one, but we do have some powerful stuff going on. Yeah, the only other consideration maybe is is running this uh, expansion. We did pick up the Ancestral Vision to make that also a little bit more appealing. But overall, I think that's not consistent enough. Maybe in slower matchups where I can use it to copy one of my opponent's spells, I'd consider doing this. But right now, I'll, I'll leave it like this. I'm ready for the first round. We have this hand with no blue sources, but we do have a library. We have Time Walk, so we have a lot of power in our hand. I think I'm going to keep this, and hopefully it's not against a fast deck and we can use the library to draw out of it. But... This could backfire. They start on Windswept Heath and immediately crack it. Forest. Ooh, is this some sort of mana dark deck? Yeah, it looks like it. Swords. So I can swords their guy or I can just start librarying. I think I do this and then swords whatever comes out. Island. So blue green. Corsair of Crufix. Well, let's draw a card. Brazen Bar. Interesting. Walking Ballista on top. Let's play an island. And then I think I swords the Corsair. Don't need them getting more card advantage. And then I just library on their turn again. Still haven't found a blue haven't found a blue land yet, but that's okay. Three mana cultivate. So they are ramping. I think blue mana would be great if we can draw that. Just so we can uh, oh they find a plains and a forest and play the forest. Draw a card. Skyclave apparition. I think rather than discarding a card, I'm just gonna play this apparition. Eat their elf. Maybe that slows them down a little bit so we are now facing down a six drop next turn and then just pass. You take a turn off from librarying, but that is okay. Sylvan Library, not a bad one either. Devoted Druid. And we also know they have Walking Ballista in hand. Uh, no land. So now we have to discard? That's kind of poor. I guess, what are we getting rid of? Maybe, yeah, let's attack with the Apparition. And I do need to discard something. Do I want to discard Bane Slayer and get it back with the ecd perhaps or discard riftwing or brazen borrower i think riftwing if we suspend that it's going to take forever to come out so yep they start librarying we really do need to draw a blue land I and mean, that was the risk of this hand but we've also most of the turns been drawing two cards a turn and he kept one card so let's see it. frantic search mm, sure let's draw a card uh, it's a land, but not a blue one. So it doesn't really help us all that much. The Ranged Hermit and Felidar Retreat getting discarded. They must have some good ones then. Biogenic Ooze. Yeah, that is a good one. Oh man, we draw Factor Fiction. So yeah, that is uh, not good. Now we need to draw a Wrath. Hmm. Against the green deck, I kind of wish I picked up that second one. But not drawing any blue lands is kind of brutal. I just get rid of Foth here. Or maybe ponder i don't know yeah i guess i'm not gonna be spending my blue mana on ponder anytime soon if i can draw another land then i can at least play ecd to eat the ooze so i can't keep making more i don't think i want to block here because that's just going to give them another one one 
No, we'll just take this hit. Actually, let's draw a card. Maybe if we draw a Condemn, we can get rid of the use. No, we do draw a land and a blue one. Let's take the hit. Yeah, they're just making more oozes. Makes sense. Their oozes grow. We draw days. Let's play this. I have to pay the life. And then just ECD the big ooze. Yep, that all happens. And then next turn, we can also just play Bane Slayer to stabilize. And then ECD is going to get back a Riftwing Cloud Skate. So we can bounce one of the tokens. So we're getting there. And if they really go all out, we have a Days. Although I expect Days to not be great here anymore. And they pay life to draw an extra card. Arbor Elf, sure. I think I'm gonna block, save myself some life. And then potentially I can also get this back with the ECD. They get a 1-1. One, one. Now what? Treasure Cruise. So more card draw. They're back up to five cards in hand. Dryad. We can't daze this because then they just untap the Devoted Druid. And that's it. So... We are facing a ton of damage next turn. Ooh, bribery, but we do not have the blue source for it. I could try and draw a card and... Well, actually, no, I cannot. So I'm just going to have to play this Bane Slayer. Hope it lives. And that's able to hold off their offense. And they can't really attack through and kill me. I mean, there's a ton of things that can still go wrong. They also have a big walking ballista. Maybe we can daze the ballista. Or maybe we should have actually just time walks. Yeah, maybe this Bane Slayer play was a little bit greedy. If we just time walk, then we know we're getting back something. The Riftwing, and we have another look at another land. Fractured Identity. Um, does this kill us? Seven. Yeah, that's that's enough. Yep, I think I probably would have been better off time walking. But it was going to be a hard game regardless. And we would have drawn a land. I'm not sure how much that would have changed, but probably wouldn't have died. Rough, rough start. Anything I want to change? I don't think so, honestly. No, let's just run it back. Kept maybe a little bit of an, uh, an awkward hand, but we've drawn so many extra cards. Good chance that there is a blue land in those cards. Yes, would like to play first. Well, there's a bunch of blue lands here. Let's keep this. We have some interaction. Play the Hallowed Fountain and pass. I don't think I daze this. It just puts me just as far behind. Basically, they have one mana more than we do, so... I might as well let them have this. If they play a 3-drop, we can daze that. If they decide to attack, we can condemn this. So I think not dazing is fine. Boros Signet. Yeah, sure. Nothing. So are they just really playing around daze? Otherwise, you probably do attack. Or maybe they have something they could play for, for 2 mana. Now they have 5. What is coming at? Is the use Plow Under. Well, this I will daze. Azorius Signet. So I can play this. And I can either keep up remand or i can just eat their elf again and i think i will just eat their elf so now they have only four mana okay they have five but they're missing double green hmm library would have loved to been able to eat that but i guess not yeah attack for two we really do need to draw some card draw or a planeswalker or something grim monolith sure they're now paying a life with the library Usually against a blue-white deck, I'm fairly eager to just pay a bunch of life, draw a bunch of cards, and get something going. Clear the top of my deck of useless cards. Even if the cards I'm drawing as extras aren't great, at least I'm getting deeper into my deck. No, still not paying any life. See what comes out now. Ooh, that's a lot of mana, so whatever it is, I'm likely to remand it. Hydroid Crisis. Well, Hydroid Crisis, I'm not going to remand. They just get to draw a bunch more cards next turn. Instead, I'm going to go and treachery it. Geist. Well, let's go treachery their dude. Yeah, that works. Untap a bunch of lands. Then play Geist of St. Traft and swing in. So now we are threatening, well, not lethal next turn, but pretty close to it. And we have a remand to sort of pseudo time walk, maybe. And they use their Grim Monolith, so they are... A little bit more restricted on mana. Ruffellos. Ruffellos is fine. Can block our Geist, but it's not something I'm going to counter. I don't need to get in with Geist a bunch of times. Just getting the 4-4 four four to get through is already putting them on quite a fast clock. Frantic Surge. That is also fine. Discarding the Ranged Hermit and Cultivate. The fact that they discarded the Ranged Hermit scares me a little bit. Although I guess this is a big flyer. Arbor Elf. Sure. And now nothing. Interesting. Narset. Well, let's start by playing Narset minus Fact or Fiction. Okay, so we have some, some new gas, which we were lacking before. I'm just going to attack with everything. If they want to block and kill my Geist, I'm okay with that. They decide to just take it and go to two. 
Um, yeah, I guess they realize that they're dead next turn anyway, so they'd rather have the Rafaela's mana and they scoop. All right, well, I'll take it. Anything I want to change, I mean, they always have library. I'm somewhat tempted to bring in Disenchant, but I'll just keep it as is. Mm, this hand looks great. We have a library to continue gaining card advantage. We have swords to kill their first creature, brazen bar to bounce something to fairy, and then a bane slayer. So I will keep it. Library makes us a little bit slower, but it's just so great. Yeah, start with the library and then pass. They didn't have the turn one elf. Instead, they had the stirring wildwood. So even a turn two Rafellas here, maybe not as scary. Oh, there is the elf. Well, let's go draw a card with the library. We draw wrath. I think I just play the planes swords the elf. Make them go a little bit slower. And otherwise we'd need to discard anyway. So swords is one of our better answers. But we also have snapcaster. We also have a wrath. Yeah, I think we're fine on answers. Oh, they don't do anything. Let's just draw our card. Riftwing or Ancestral? I think I'd rather suspend the Riftwing. We'll have a full hand in four turns time, I think, with this library. So don't need to draw all that many more. Not just yet. Sylvan Library. There it is again. Draw a card. And we draw another land. That's fine. Forest. And then what? Nothing. So what I think I do here is I play an island, then suspend Ancestral Vision, draw a card, Ooh, time walk also. Just raise and borrow this for now. I kind of want to time walk when I have a bit more stuff going on. For now, I'm content just slowing my opponent down. I can also repeal the thing next turn when it comes down. So I could have also not bothered with the ancestral vision and just played the Teferi to bounce the library. But that's not all that appealing because then they can kill it with the Wildwood. Courser, sure. I have a land and then a Dryad on top. You also get to play library. And what do I want to do now? Ancestral Vision and the Riftwing. We draw Geist. Let's play our land and then we can time walk. Play Geist. We do go down on some cards, but this should be pretty decent. I think I want to capitalize on my position now. So the Riftwing comes out. So that can get rid of the Courser. Can also just play ECD to get rid of the Courser and bounce their library right now. Or I can just play to Fairy and bounce the Courser. Let's play the, let's bounce the Sylvan Library, play the Teferi and bounce the Courser. Uh, we do find our land, but maybe I want to hold my land. Let's go Teferi, minus, we find another land. Let's just play that one. Then we can also play Brazen Borrower and really start beating down. I don't need to draw more cards with Library now, I'm just going to kill them. And there's the Courser, sure. Another land, so they gain a life and then they can play the Dryad also. Yep, and that's the Dryad. And they play another land. All right. Well, let's play our Brazen Borrower. So we have five power in the air. Nine even with the Geist because then... But then the Geist could die. Yeah, we can just safely play our lands right now. Plus the Fairy. Now what do I want to do? I can just attack and then bounce if they single block the Geist or just let the Geist go. You can also Elspeth Conquers Death, this Courser. Let's just start by attacking. I'm okay with my guys dying. It's still getting in for four. So they single block the guys. Well, then I'm just gonna bounce their dude and draw myself a card. Geist is still alive. Draw another land. That's not what we wanted, but they're down to six. Play Hallowed Fountain. And then next turn, we also get to draw three libraries active again. We still have a ginormous board. The fairy. Yeah, looks good. They can gain some life with this Corsair, that's okay. So Ooze on top and they've drawn Grim Monolith and they concede. All right, we got to capitalize on the card advantage from the library and then we got to throw away some cards to just tempo them out. So on to match two. Match two with our blue-white Cheon's deck. A fine opener, we have Ponder, we have Swords. Sadly, not a library again, but I'll take this as well. Hissing Quagmire, Mock Sapphire and nothing, okay. Bribery. Let's ponder first. Ooh, there is Plains, Flooded Strand, Library. Let's try and get this library going. And then we have the Flooded Strand to shuffle away the rest of the lands. So we are drawing lands for a couple turns, but we also are, will be drawing extra cards. Island, and now what? Hex Drinker. Well, I think I have to take maybe a turn off and just sort this while I still can. Yeah, it is unfortunate, but 
Let's go fetch with the flooded strand, find the planes and just sort this. Could see and waste them, may have them waste the mana on the level up, but if they have some sort of counter, it's kind of bad. This also shuts off our library for a turn, but yeah, Hex Drinker is a very fast one. Jace, ooh. All right, that is a, a tough one to deal with. Bribery is also not that great against Jace. So now I want to find Skyclave Operation. No, we find Snapcaster. I can snap a Ponder. Or I can just play this library and try and start doing that next turn. Yep, brainstorming. This deck's not great at beating a Jace. Don't have a Banishing Light or a Consul's Judgment to easily take care of it. I, mean, I guess we have AC ECD to, to do kill it. Questing Beast. Well, I believe I'm off this library plan then, and I'm just gonna go snap and sword this Questing Beast. It also gives us something to maybe pressure their Jace. So let's go for this. Yep, swords this beast. We draw another land. It's not what we wanted. Play an island, go after the Jace. Yep, Jace down to three. Oh, they actually plus Jace. Oh, I missed that. Where did they plus it on us? Yeah, they plus the Jace on us the time that they played it. I'm not sure why. We're not like a red deck, so we weren't gonna bolt our Jace. But that is the only real reason to, to do this. And they plus it again, targeting us. Urza. All right, this is bounce their construct. We draw a land. Yeah, they kept the land on top. That makes sense. Come on, something good. Remand. That's not great. I could bribery, but it needs to be very good. Otherwise, they can just chase bounce, but I feel like I'm far enough behind that I need to make this play. What do they have? Nissa, Primeval Titan, Scavenging Ooze, Corsair. Hmm. And then they just have some rampy cards, almost no control elements. What do I take here? Knowing that they can just use Jace to bounce it and then get it back. I could take Leovold. Uh, at least we draw a card when they bounce it. But yeah, maybe playing Bribery. I was really hoping for, for what? Something to kill the Jace? This all looks pretty poor. Maybe I take Primal Titan because they don't have the mana. Yeah, I'll take a Titan. They at least don't have the mana to play it right away, maybe. Yep, we'll search for some lands. Get this uh, Hallowed Fountain and a Plains. No, and Snapcaster cannot really attack. And maybe we draw a Wrath and we can get rid of this, but then they still have an active Jace. Yeah, they do return the Titan. I mean, if they have a land, I'm in trouble. Nissa. So they drew the Nissa. So they have a land next turn. We get to remand it, but we're still facing an active Jace. Not sure what I can do to get out of this. Spellseeker. They didn't have that many great spells. Or maybe I missed something. The monitor. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. We draw Daze. Maybe we get to Daze the Titan? Maybe? But I'm just losing to this Jace. This Nissa is gonna flip. Yeah, I, I, I really don't know how I'm getting out of this. So I'll just scoop it up. Against this pile, what do I want? Honestly, I want a good way to kill a Jace, but we have Vindicate as the only way to do so. And we have a land to maybe splash for it, but we only have two black sources then. It seems like it's a little bit sketchy. Repeal didn't look very good. Maybe this Torrential Gearhulk, just a little bit more power. Yes, would like to play first. Well. The fairy is fine, Geist is fine, Romance good. We just need to draw some lands. Start with the island, pass, forest. Ah, uh, Hex Drinker? No. Hex Drinker is a tough one. I guess we do have the fairy to just bounce it if all they do is just pump this guy. And I probably go Geist into the fairy. Yep, they are just gonna level it up. Ooh, nothing else. So they wanna leave one mana. Oh, and then they level it up. Hmm, interesting. Maybe they have like a spell pierce. Well, let's run out this Geist. Yep, level. And then scavenging ooze. Hmm. No attack. So I can just play the Teferi, bounce the Hex Drinker, draw a card, Bane Slayer. And then I don't want to trade my Geist for their ooze right now. Or maybe I do because it's going to be just as bad next turn. And then at least I keep my Teferi around for longer. If they decide not to trade, I can just condemn their ooze when it attacks. Yeah, it looks like they want to try and kill Teferi, and that's not going to work for them. So they go attacking with the Ooze at Teferi, condemn their guy. Now they get to play Hex Drinker and level that up. We don't have a great answer for it right now. And next turn they can get it to the final stage, plus this. And then I'm just going to run out Factor Fiction. Ooh, 
Let's see how they split this. I imagine it's not going to be this and this together. Hmm. I think I need my lands. Go with this and then don't want to attack. If they have a land, they can level this up fully and then it's, we're kind of stuck with it. Now they play Vendillion Click just to see if the coast is clear. But now they know that they're going to lose their Hex Drinker to this apparition or they're just bottoming this because they didn't have the fifth land. If they bottom our apparition, we draw a new card. They maybe go after the Teferi with the Hex Drinker. Then we, wait, what did they take? Baneslayer. They think they can't race a Baneslayer. I'm not sure if you can race my current hand. Then they level up the Hex Drinker. Curious if they go after the Teferi or not. And they do, sure. Then we play ECD, eat their click. And then we still have a pretty decent shot at racing. Play the ECD, eat their guy. Could have also played Skyclave Operation and taken out that this way, but I think I'm okay with racing this uh, Hex Drinker. And they're down to 10. Yep, they are gonna level it up. They probably keep it back to block now then? Sure. Yeah, attacking doesn't seem great. We draw Jace. Huh. I mean, if we play Jace here, then they are very much incentivized to just try and kill it. I'm not gonna bother looking at the top card of their deck. I just wanna draw more myself. Ancestral Vision and two lands. Let's put back the two lands. Let's fetch them away. Get our island. Suspend this. Not sure if it's gonna come up, but we'll see. And then just pass. Now they kind of have to try and kill our Jace with the Hex Drinker, but that means we get to get in with the Geist. Nissa. Actually, you're just gonna remand this Nissa. Nissa can block our Geist. Now what? They decide not to kill the Jace. I'm fine with that also. At some point, I'll find something to get around this Hex Drinker. Um, let's return the Fairy. Uh, an extra loyalty counter. Draw three. There's the Baneslayer again. Put back two lands. Then play Baneslayer. I'll play the library also. Plus the Teferi. And then just say go. Beast within our Baneslayer. I guess that happens. That's okay. Keep brainstorming. Wrath of God. Let's put back two lands. When is this vision? Two more turns. I can actually return my Geist and then Wrath and replay the Geist. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, return Geist. Then actually before I Wrath I can also... Oh no, I need to play a land first. Draw a card. Wrath. Getting rid of this Hex Drinker. And they scooped it out. All right. Yeah, I think we were in a fine position. Just this squeeze of not being able to attack because then guys deal, deals them a bunch of damage and this Jace drawing his cards. Anything I want to change? I still do not think so. Ooh, library. We've been fortunate enough to have this in our opener a couple times now. And this seems like a, a great matchup for it. So let's keep this. Underground C. We have a library. Let's go and draw a card. Now what? I can ponder. Do I want to ponder? I think I, I kind of want to play a plane so I can Skyclave Apparition next turn if really needed. No, probably just better to ponder. Remand Narset. Also some lands, but I think it's fine. Go planes, Narset, Remand, Shuffle, no. We'll have to discard. We can discard one of these islands. Next turn we can also just Brazen Bar or one of their plays. Ha, Leovold. Well, draw a card then. Leovold's shutting off our library. We can play a planes and then I can bounce this. They draw a card. That doesn't seem great. So I'd rather just discard one and then next turn we can remand their play and then Skyclave Operation their Leovold. And it's sad that we don't have like a Mox or something to really use all the cards that we get with library. Discard uh, planes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, remand will still draw us a card, but then we cannot also library. Yep, Leovold does come in. For a moment I thought they might want to play around Condemn, but they don't. They don't do anything. So I guess I draw now. I'm a little bit worried they might have click. Oh, Swords. We can also just Swords their Leovolt then. Yeah, let's do that. They get to draw a card. Oh, they have a counter for this? Mm-hmm. Yep. So they draw a card and we get nothing for it. Ooh, Wrath. I can Wrath this away or I can just... Now I can't use Library this turn also. I guess that's fine. Let's just Skyclave Operation, get rid of this Leovold. They draw yet another card, but that's okay. Leovold down and then we just pass. Nissa. For a moment I thought they were casting Jace. Nissa is fine. If we really want, we can Swords it. I don't think we do. Let's go draw an extra card. Teferi. 
I can bounce it, but then they just get another forest. That's not great. Let's just play our land and play Narset. They can send two creatures at it, but we'll see. Minus, ooh, Daze, Factor Fiction, and Jace. Let's take a Jace. Keep this back to block. We also have the swords. If they play another big creature, then at some point we'll be able to Wrath. Hissing Quagmire. So I want to try and get rid of this Narset and then maybe try and use the Commit to Memory. I think what I'll do is I'll just Swords their land. So they're down on mana. And then I'll block this. They get a token. We can just play Teferi or Jace. Bounce the token. Go draw a card. Let's go play our land first also. Teferi. Bounce this token. Look with Narset. Ooh, you miss. Unfortunate, but I think we're doing fine. We have Brazen Borrower and Remand available. And next turn we're going to get to slam a Jace without having to worry about Teferi and it getting countered. Yeah, let's just Remand this for now. <laughs> they scooped it out. Well, I cannot blame them. We had a super gassed up hand, two Planeswalkers, a third coming, an active library, so... Pretty good so far. Into the finals. Into the finals with our blue-white Cheons. Let's see how this goes. This is not a keepable hand. No lands. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. We probably put back the ECD and then hope we get enough time to gas back up with this Ancestral Vision. We've actually not had Ancestral Vision come off Suspend yet. Let's suspend it now. Hopefully we do not die before it comes off. Planes. Nothing. Yep. The vision. Ooh, a Signet. Let's just run out to Signet. Hopefully not get mana typed. No. Just instantly resolve. Oh wow, they don't have anything? Not sure what they kept over there. Let's ponder. Um, bunch of lands. Actually, I think we're fine with a bunch of lands. And then I just put Plains, Library, Island. No, no shuffle. Play the Island and just pass. Library is not going to be active for a while, but if and when this uh, vision comes off suspend, it will be. Okay. I'm going to Apparition that. I was thinking maybe I just Snapcast a Ponder to get rid of that other land, but I'm also still fine just drawing it. Let's go Apparition, eat their Signet, because they are stuck on lands. And Vision is coming off next turn. Wall of Omens, okay. And Planes. Come on, show me some good cards. I can play a land or I can take a turn off from playing anything and just have Library active next turn. Can also just run out this Bane Slayer. I think I like running out the Bane Slayer, but not playing anything else. Just present some sort of clock, and then we'll we'll take it from there. Council's Judgment. So they get rid of our Bane Slayer. Yeah. Okay. More lands. That's not great. Can also run out Snapcaster and flashback Ponder. I actually think that's okay here. Our hand size doesn't go down, and we get to control our next couple of draws a little bit. Narset, Scalding Tarn. I guess I just want to take the Narset then. No. And then I can play the Narset, minus it, get a card, and next turn we can minus Narset again. And if we find a card, we can still library. And this could be very good against our opponent's blue-white deck, which probably also has a bit of card draw in it. Riftwing Cloudscape suspended. And draw another land. Come on, Narset. Yes, bribery. Nice. Draw a card, remand. Then I can just run out the bribery and see what happens. Skyclave Operation, Fraction Metamorph, Sun Titan. Um, they are going to get to bounce this, but Sun Titan with a fetch could be sweet. And it's also just a big beater. Let's attack with these. Next turn, we also have Remand up. Our opponent is still stuck on lands. Mox Ruby. Now what? Nothing? Nothing. Whew, Jace also. Let's go draw a card. Draw swords, play Flooded Strand, go and fetch, go get another island, and then let's go attacking. Get back our Flooded Strand, yes, and they block one, and then I think I fetch, get probably still an island, play Jace, and here I do think I top, and I mostly just don't want to give them more lands. A Johnny Vengeance, no, they can have that, they can play it. Keep something tapped that doesn't really do anything. They can kill our Narset, but then Sun Titan just gets it back. Cannot kill Jace. And we could also just potentially... Ah, I see. They want to bolt our Narset. Do they have maybe Time Twister? Well, I guess we just remand whatever they play and then use Sun Titan to get back Narset. Brainstorm. I could remand Brainstorm, but I'll, I'll let them have it. And the Wrist Wing is not coming in for another turn. If you can find Teferi before then, that is going to be brutal. Elspeth conquers death. No, thank you. Ha, they concede to that. Yep. All right, just need to win one more game. 
What do I want against them? Maybe I do want disenchant. We saw some signets. We saw an ECD. Mm, remove this repeal. Yeah, this looks okay. I think this is also a fine matchup for us. We don't have that many counter spells, but we do have a lot of has to have to counter threats. So that's all right. And we have guys. We have library, which is always great in these blue white mirrors. I'm a little bit interested in maybe Brahmas, but and I'll leave it as, as is for now. Maybe Condemn can actually go. Well, this hand is fine. We have Brazen Borrower to interact. We have Ponder to set up our draws. We have Jace, ECD. Looks great. We even have Ponder plus a Fetch. So if the third card down is bad, we can still fetch that away. Ooh, Mox Ruby. It's a lot better start than they had last game. Into a Signet. So they can play a four drop next turn. Hopefully they don't. Ponder. I don't think I want any of these. Let's shuffle. We draw another land. Well, that's all right. Let's see it. Ooh, Rift Swing suspended and just a Steam Vents. Could have been a lot worse. Play this, and then I do think I just bounce this Signet to make it so they are unlikely to play something next turn that's super scary. They had four mana last turn, so they still have four now. Yeah, Signet just comes out, and then nothing. Ooh, Teferi? Yeah, I like me a Teferi. That resolves. Let's just bounce their Signet again. This Rift Swing is also going to be stopped by the Teferi. So if they can't kill it this turn, then their Rift Wing is not coming out. Do they have the Ajani maybe? Yeah. All right. That is unfortunate. Thinking a little bit about maybe not. What? They keep a land tap? They must not know how this works with Ajani and Teferi. Well, let's plus this then. And then I think I just suspend the Rift Wing, play Library, and say go. Yeah, they're not getting this Rift Wing. Just because the Fairy is an absolutely messed up card. I think our opponent is now realizing their mistake. Abbot of Carol Keep. Mm, was not expecting that. And they into a Lightning Bolt. So they get to kill the Teferi with the Lightning Bolts. Yep. They keep a land of ours tapped. Um, I can play a Jace, but that's just gonna die. So let's play Hallowed Fountain. We can flash in Brazen Borrower to maybe pressure their Johnny a little bit. Yeah, we can keep our Hallowed Fountain tapped. We can also ECD their Johnny. Tireless Tracker. Interesting. Is it Signet? And let's just flash in this guy. We're gonna take a hit for three. That's okay. Yep, take three. This is not coming off Suspend just yet. Let's play in Planes and just get rid of this Johnny now. We have the chance before it blows up all of our lands. Then this cannot block, so it might as well attack. Ooh, they have an ECD of their own, and we cannot counter it, so that is a little bit annoying. Yep, ours is gone, and they suspend Ancestral Vision. Yep, these guys attack. Riftwing is gonna come in, so cast this, bounce their Tireless Tracker, and then I guess I just run out Jace, draw three. Ooh, we can kill their ECD. Put back two lands, kill the ECD, play a Scalding Tarn. This library is not going to be active for a while, but that's okay. I think I, I needed to do all of this. I'm also going to get to fetch away two lands. They're just going to play the Tireless Tracker, hopefully not have a land drop. They do. I think our best card to draw here is probably like Bribery. Bribery, get Sun Titan, return to Fairy with the Sun Titan. And they attack our Jace, so we just block with the Rift Wing. Let's fetch, get rid of these lands, get another island, and tap more lands. Well, let's just brainstorm then. We get to put back island planes, swords their tireless tracker, play a flooded strand, fetch away all of these bad cards, get this planes, and then what? Do I want to snap under? I think that I might. I could also just save the snap as a as another swords to kill a big threat. That may just be better. Let's attack. We are also putting them on somewhat of a clock. This Ancestral Vision is quite some turns away. Day's unlikely to do anything, but we'll see. I kind of hope to find... Ooh, the fairy. I was going to say, I kind of hope to find uh, Time Walk. Curious if they tuck our Jace or if they just start drawing some cards of their own. If they tuck our Jace, they're still just dying to the board. And their Teferi is going down, so we both don't have a card draw engine. But I think I'm better off with that one than they are. Yeah, they decide to draw. Play an island, so they have one card in hand. And then they untap some lands. Draw more lands. Let's draw three. Ooh, put back these two lands. Suspend Ancestral Vision. It's not super likely to be relevant, but send this at them. 
and this at the ferry as well as the angel. So we kill their Teferi. We have a remand for their ancestral vision when it comes off suspend. I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good. We've had so many turns with an active chase now. Ooh, what is this? Is this Sun Titan? No. I think I just remand this and then we have snap remand for the ancestral vision next turn. Yeah, and it's good. All right, we actually got a trophy with this. I don't think this was particularly the best version of blue white Shions that I've ever drafted, but we had a lot of powerful cards and mostly just won by being proactive with a mix of some interaction thrown in and also just having library in most of our openers. So this was a good one. I'll, I'll see you for the next one.